This is 55 TV. We are 55 Factory. We are with Dathid Jones. How are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. This must be um, exciting for you, to say the least. It's a, a beautiful gallery space. We've been here before doing TV, and you are on almost the receiving end this time, would you yeah. say? Uh, yeah, it's, it's an opening of pictures about, or pictures of openings, which is quite funny. That's quite a nice way to put it. Um, you do, I would say from the body of work, you do more high-end openings and events. How did you fall into doing this kind, or was it just something you stumbled on and it became more preference that you were doing? Um, uh, it, it, uh, a bit of both. Um, I um, got interested in photographing events, and then I, I didn't exactly stumble in it, but um, I found that I, arts and cultural events are more interesting to photograph than... Um, other things happening and I, I just followed I just followed my sort of interests. When you went from London in the was it the late 80s you went to New York yeah. what was the um, the change for you creatively but also personally it was a, a culturally different and how exciting was it or is it more exciting in London tell me a bit about that background. Uh, well it was exciting actually, actually I like being there and no one knowing who, who I was because after a while working in London everyone knew who I was they always knew uh, hang on there's David he's going to take a picture and um, they um, uh, and when I went to New York, it was great because I could just move around invisibly, and it was a totally new cast of characters, so um, uh, which I enjoyed. But actually, um, when I came back to London, I found um, after a while in New York, I found London was more exciting than New York. Um, there was more going on. It was more mixed, um, and um, it was, that was one reason why I stayed and why why I returned. You say that you, um, you came back to London in 96, I believe, yeah. and when the fashion industry had kind of more taken over in London. Don't you think the fashion and artist industry has always been the better place to be for underground experimental art and fashion rather than New York? Um, well, there's a lot of underground art in... in uh, I mean, at one point, New York was the place to be, but it sort of changed with the YBAs, I think. Um, and fashion was quite good it was, was exciting in New York actually but then there was this new generation of fashion designers like Alexander McQueen and um, Isabella Blow was helping everyone so that was um, uh, more interesting actually than the New York fashion uh, at that point when I came back about um, 1996. Do you think now that London still is ahead of itself with the fashion and, and arts injury for being more open-minded than, than New York being maybe a little bit more commercial based? I think so, probably. But I, must admit, I haven't been back to New York for quite a long time. I'm going again this autumn, so I can let you know then after I come back. But uh, um, I, I haven't wanted to go to New York, but uh, I've been going to the Miami Art Fair every year, and this time I'm going to stop in New York on the way back, and so I'll find out whether it's changed much. I think there's a lot of new galleries opening up in New York, so... Um, and there's a lot of people who spend money on art there, uh, and they probably come to London and buy art as well. So, so we're going to, um, I think we're going to see him in um, Miami Art Fair this year, because we're going to be there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, are you a good boy, and do you tend to not get drunk or uh, kind of yeah. fall into states uh, at the end of the evening? Good boy. If I enjoyed myself too much, I, I would have just not carried on as a photographer that's one of the pitfalls of my work I mean I probably I mean there are some people that can do it that can drink and party and work but I I can't and um, so I just see yeah, I'm quite a boring person <laughs> um, didn't, didn't you want to maybe fall into more studio or portographic work or maybe fashion industry and that because you know what you do is a specific style of photography uh, I did do studio pictures for a while and um, I found it was a bit of a millstone being tied uh, to, to a studio. I liked it, um, but um, I um, preferred going out and going out to different things, photographing. And I like photographing people in different environments and I find it more interesting than... Well, it, well you, you just don't know what's going to happen. And if someone wanted to be photographed, I'd rather photograph them, say, in their studio or their home or their office than just in my studio. 
uh, where you tend to get quite a neutral background and I like to try and work out an environment in a picture as well. Do you have any exciting projects that you are possibly working on which is a change or a variation I coming up? I'm obsessed with things. At the moment I'm doing a lot of pictures of people using smartphones, um, uh, texting, just using them at parties, being rude to people that they're with, ignoring their wives, partners, obsessively at parties and I like the light that comes from the phone that lights up the face. You get quite magical light. Um, a magazine in New York has just run a big spread of these pictures. Um, and maybe the next exhibition will be pictures of people using telephones. That's great. Um, this is Christopher Sims. This is Daffy Jones. We are 55 TV.